Khmer Legacies uh, is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to document the Cambodian genocide through personal videotape testimonies. So the idea is that the younger generation of Cambodians are interviewing their parents about their story of survival. My family essentially was formed during the Khmer Rouge genocide. It was that revelation that inspired me to direct a documentary film about their life and also to create a larger organization that would give families the opportunity to pass this story on from generation to generation. My experience was very similar to a lot of Cambodian families in that their parents did not talk about their experience of surviving. They did not pass that story on to their children. I feel like it's even more pronounced in Cambodia itself, where you have this phenomenon of the younger generation not believing that the Khmer Rouge even happened. The mission for Khmer Legacies has many layers. On a personal level, I want the experience of telling your story for the first time to be an experience that opens the door for healing. ແລະຕ້ອງໄປຄາຈະສາຫນັງ <coughs> These stories may be traumatized, but it also can heal, right? But it's also a, to document how resilient our community is. I want the experience to be one that bridges the generational divide between the young and the old. I felt it was important to, to take this opportunity to record these stories so that they will be there as living proof um, for many generations to come. In my root time, you almost cry in your heart, but you cannot, <coughs> your tear did not come out. I just go here, they go now, you just have to write, I'm in, you know, I'm in the air. Ah, I will not even start to play, you know. They just, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. I try to let my kids know, you know, how hard we've been through, you know, so try to remember. I want the archive itself to be an educational tool to teach about genocide because without awareness and education, I don't think prevention is possible. <laughs>